Hey, Craig here. In this video, I'm going to be making a fixture plate for some laser cut covers, right? Okay, so so I had this product that I haven't really been able to keep in stock, uh, not necessarily because they've been flying off the shelf, but because it's just so difficult to make something like this out of steel uh, on the Tormach. Uh, so what I've decided to do is I've actually decided to do m the majority of the work um, by laser. Uh, the basic shape is cut out by laser in the hole. So all that's basically left to do on the Tormach is to machine this counter bore and this step around the edge here. Um, I'm going to be doing uh, this size here. I've got other shapes and sizes that I need to do, but I'm going to start off with uh, with this one right here. So the way I've decided to set this fixture plate up is just like this. Um, the two on this side will actually be doing the counter bore. I will have a uh, quarter twenty uh, tapped hole here with a bracket coming across this way that will hold these down. Uh, so it will machine uh, the counter bore in here and then it will move on over to here. I will have uh, quarter twenty uh, holes uh, tapped here and that will basically bolt this down and I, then I will be able to do the, the step on both of these and uh, basically so following um, common wisdom I guess um, each time you know uh, the it cycle starts um, two finished products will come off so I will be machining uh, four pockets for these parts to locate in and to keep them from uh, shifting around as I'm machining them. Uh, the first thing I need to do is do the, uh, the bottom part, the, uh, the holes, the counter bores, and the locating pins to fit on the Saunders Machine Works uh, tooling plate. Okay, so I'm going to start off by remarking my work envelope. I really don't want to make a permanent mark on here because I don't know if I'm going to like change tooling plates or if I move the tooling plate on the mill, then I have to make sure I line it perfectly like that. It's not often I have to do it, so I basically just take a uh, half inch end mill holder, put some uh, electrical tape on the, on a marker, and uh, just shove it up in there and put the set screw. It's not totally accurate, but it's good enough for what I'm doing. So. You can kind of barely see the line there. Okay, so the reason I was actually marking the envelope, work envelope, for the, this is because this piece that I'm going to be machining, this fixture plate, is actually larger than the work envelope in, in the Y. It's exactly on with the uh, the X. So, but I'm going to be using a uh, face mill. Uh, it was this, a 50 millimeter face mill um, to uh, so I can get further out uh, but I need to have this you know directly in the center of the work envelope in order for this to work so so basically I'm going to use uh, four modular uh, clamps here so I'm going to be using two pins right here to locate the front edge of the fixture plate they don't exactly line up perfectly with the work envelope here um, but I'm just going to bring it a little further forward. I think there's enough uh, diameter on this face mill to be able to catch the back edge anyways. Um, oftentimes I set this all up. Uh, I usually set my zeros on the, the top of the, the clamp jaw here. And sometimes I set it up and then I forget. And then I have to take it all apart so I can grab this zero. So I'm going to do that first. Then I'm going to put the fixture plate up on here. Okay, so I got the piece put in. I've got it tightened down. Uh, there's a big gap between the clamps, but I'm not going to be doing any real heavy machining. Uh, the final finish pass on this is probably only going to be like ten thousandths of an inch. Um, 
I've got the got the piece lined up with these pins here. the The front alignment isn't really all that critical because the uh, this is going to be located on on pins on the tooling plate, so that's actually going to locate it, not not the edges. So, all right. Well, I've already checked to make sure that I can get all the way around the part, and uh, I'm just going to go ahead and start facing this off. I'm only going to go, I don't know, maybe twenty thousandths, just enough to get the thing flat, because I think there's some bow to it, so... Right. Well, that worked out in one pass. I was running it manually at about 3500 RPM. Uh, I was just using the jog shuttle about 20 inches a minute. Uh, I think I was going uh, maybe uh, 20 thousandths depth of cut and maybe uh, one inch step over. So, all right, so now all I need to do is uh, set my, my zeros on this corner over here. And run the code for the uh, for the bolt holes and the uh, and the alignment pins. All right. Well, I forgot that I have to access this front corner to be able to set my zeros over here. So I ended up having to loosen these up, slide them over, slide the fixture plate over, uh, move the pins back, move this back, and uh, reset it up. Uh, I think the next time I do it, I need to make sure that I. have set it backwards that way and this way to leave room for that. I've already set my zeros on this corner. I decided to set my zeros on the top and on this corner because I don't know the exact thickness of this and this is already um, machined flat. So so I've made a video about machining the uh, the underside of the fixture plate for the for the machi uh, Saunders Machine Works tooling plate. Uh, I'll leave a link below. I'm just going to uh, do a time lapse on this. Okay, so I machined this to a super, super tight fit. This was uh, one thousandths over. All right, I checked that on both sides. It's a little tight lining it up, but. Uh, Looks good over here too. Alright, now time to turn this over and do the other side. Okay, well I got it on, but the uh, the fit is a bit tight. It takes a little bit to get it on and off. I should have enlarged it a hair more, maybe a half a thousandth or something like that. Uh, I don't have a reamer this size, so I'm just using uh, an end mill. Um, but uh, it just goes to show you though, that uh, the Tormrock had to be within, you know, a thousandth of an inch for this to even fit on there at all with how tight those uh, pins were in the holes. So, all right, well, I'm going to go ahead and clamp this down and do the counter bores uh, for the bolts. Then I can put the bolts in, take the clamps off. Then I'll go ahead and face this off like I did the other side, get it down to 95 thousandths. Then I'll be ready to start doing the pockets.
right there the the basic palette is all done now I just have to do the uh, the pockets and drill the holes and do the tapping of the holes okay well that's about it for this video I'm gonna do the rest on the next video don't want to make it uh, too long here so anyways if you like this video I would appreciate the thumbs up if you have any comments feel free to leave them down below uh, if you like to subscribe there should be a subscribe button here and other videos you might like to watch down below. Alright, thanks for watching.